vest. We saw it bleeding. A at least your friend there, who I guess is going to be on my short list of idiots, <laughs> at least he chose to test this out by shooting you in the heart. <laughs> we had tested out the backside of the vest on a on a drywall hung up on a tree and uh, shot several different rounds through the back side of the vest. That way the front side would not get penetrated or not get tarnished. So we shot it with 22 9 millimeter 30 out 6 and 12 gauge shotgun uh, bird shot. Well, shotgun and the 30 out 6 um, went straight through the vest, straight through the drywall, and I'm like, screw that, I'm out. Um, the 22 and the 9 millimeter stayed in the vest and uh, indented the drywall, it didn't break the drywall, it didn't shatter the drywall at all. So that's why it opted for that to happen. Well, well very responsible of you. Now, yeah. you, <clears throat> this went an inch and a half into your chest. Yes, sir. Now, I got a, a whole audience full of military guys over here. You, they're just shaking their heads. I mean, they do this for real. You're out there shooting yourself on purpose. It, was that dumb? It was very dumb. It was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. And when you sat down here, when you came in and sat down in the chair at the top of the show, you sat down and you went like this. Uh, does it still hurt? Oh, it doesn't hurt. It's, it, it, my heart's pounding from being on your show. <laughs> you, you're thinking it might come out through the hole? No, no. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it's healed up. So. Now, by the way, so uh, nobody takes this wrong. You, you, you said at the end, God might as well take him because he's worthless now. You, you went on to say, well, I, I, I do say that, but I do have hope for him. I have hope that he's going to grow up, that he's going to get out of this, he's going to put it behind him, he's going to thrive, he's going to excel, and I know that he can be awesome. Yes. So, I mean, that's yeah. just your frustration talking. Oh, yeah. you, you don't yeah. want anything yes. bad. I just wanted to make sure. Thank nobody. you. What needs to happen here in y'all's view? That's why we're here. <laughs> Would you like to know what I think? Yeah. W would you really? I've, I've been doing yes. this for 35 oh, years, yeah. and I, I hope y'all are very proud of Ben because I, I think he's obviously got a lot of personality. He's off. He's 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 intelligent. Yes, he is. He's so articulate. So he, 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 a lot of what he says doesn't make sense, but he says it well. But here's the deal: necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. And if you continue propping him up like you have been, make no mistake: you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for him. You're doing it to salve your own guilt. You're doing it to make yourself feel better because it's not helping him. So next time you do that, next time he's knocking on your door and wanting to move in for the 13th time, um, you, you need to change the locks. You need to say no because necessity is a mother of invention, mm -hmm. and he has skills. If you two fell off the face of the earth, do you think he would dry up and blow away? No. Yeah. No. He would do what he had to do, right? Yeah. You would do he what would you had to do. You, you, you eventually are going to get some traction. You're going to get a job. You're probably going to get married to somebody. And you're going to have children. And a hopefully woman. you're going to do something with the, your children that gives them a chance to do this. But none of that's going to start as long as you let him go backwards. Mm -hmm. But he's 26 years old. And it is time for him to stand on his own. And if it turns out that he's a, a welder's assistant That's great. Uh, in Wink, Texas, then he winds up being a welder's assistant in Wink, Texas. It's honest work. It's a good job. And if that's all he aspires to, then that's it. If he decides he wants to be a brain surgeon, then uh, it, let him do that. But you have got to stop doing it. Do, you, what do you hear me say when I say you're doing this for you, not for him? It makes us feel better about what we've, when we help him, it makes us feel better. And you think, well, he's safe and he's home and, I you know. I can fatten him up. And I, yeah, I can <laughs> fatten him up and I've got some control here. When he's with us, yes, I do have control. No, you don't. You just think you do because he blows you off. He, he, he tells you what you want to hear and does what he wants to do. Come on. That's true.